20 million are facing starvation in the Horn of Africa. They had to leave. They had no choice. They had no choice, surely. They had no choice. The worst drought for 40 years. But worse is on its way. Dalke naso ma haliye hedi fayu ukaba. Beru hudalagi himeheli in robku ma abadin. Duru fiya baraka de heganadi ikude. Dalke naso ma haliye hedi fayu ukaba. My name is Fernando Sirat. I'm 25 years old. I'm a refugee. My home is the up. Located in Kenya. This is one of the largest camps in the world with more than 200,000 people calling the dub as their home. From 1991 to now, so many people have come to the dub as a refugee. It's a home for so many communities in Africa, but mostly so much. The Dab have cafes, have restaurants. A main market for selling livestock. The Dab have schools. and get out of the camp. I have one here. I have never seen any other town, any other country, any other city, any other thing, any other village. Besides the dark, the 50 kilometers in the dark, there's no other option. There's no any other chance. We are like people who are in prison. The dub is not allowed for refugees to have permanent settlements. The houses are made of sticks, like temporary houses. I'm living with my mother and my niece and my nephew. My mom arrived in 1991 after the civil war in Somalia. She came with Two of my brothers and my dad. My, my father died in 2013. My mom did not like to go back to Somalia because she will tell you. I still remember the reason that I fled. I can say I'm Somali because in my appearance, my language, my uh, origin, Somalia. But still, I need to get that correct to say I have a country because I've never lived there, never seen. And I can't say I'm Kenyan because Kenyan will not know to give me birth certificate. There's no bag in my home that I can take out a nationality that I belong to and give an evidence that I belong to this nationality. I don't have Kenyan, I don't have Somalia, so that hurts me much. The country will permit for me to live there. So if I can't go out of this camp, then the lab is my home. And this is the place I was born, grown up, educated, and working now. I'm currently working with a local radio in the camp, Radio Gargar. The people that work in Radio Gangar, they are refugees. This is their community. So they know more about what is happening back in the camp. So we have an accent. How can I also attend with Radio Gangar? I'm not sure I'm happy with it. I'm not sure I'm happy with it. So we have an accent. We do education program. 
We do nutrition program, emotional support. We even give them music. The comment is stronger. It's very important because we are in a refugee camp. These people have been here for almost that years. We can't get out of this camp to know anything that's happening out. So it's the radio that gives information. It's the only source that they depend on. There are very few female radio journalists like me. I still I'm not a full journalist. I'm trying still, I'm trying I'm in the process of learning more about journalism. I'm still trying to bring out my career, my skills. That's why I didn't get one still. I always like to know more about anything new that's happening in the world. I want to meet with the radio boss so I could get any help from him or from the radio show that I was planning for the long time and to give me courage as a boss so that I could do the activity alone. ولكنك <تصفيق> 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 Back in 1991, during the civil war in Somalia, those people were fleeing from war. But this time, we are seeing more and more people that have fled from Somalia because of drought. It's a radio show that came on time. It's the time that was being needed highly in the camps. I wanted to go to the new arrivals at the outskirts of the camp. To know the reason that they are running from. Is it road? Is it conflict? Is it tribalism? To know more of the things that's forcing them. We have so many of the newcomers, the new arrivals. I've interviewed one much of them. They were coming on one thing. The road. Alhamdulillah, he bought a little bit of a lot. So that they are about a ballot. They are not going to so are. We hang a mala. That in Toku Gajason is that good as Somalia had to put a person with. ولكنهم <تصفيق> أهيد التعليم بأهين حد ما ها إمو مسح إيمانه كي ما ضيق وح كور قمرة
مي قبل هذا جوك تام سمي غاص سنو بلا جوك نعم هذا بلا جوك تام آه بلا جوك وحاول بحنا قصيصة حسيت هاي إن سبع هاد إن لدي سومالي يا سكو سامي سأبارك أبارك على سومالي أبارك وقت هاك لحدي بحكون على هذا وقت أبارك على هذا باري حالي بعد أما بيرن ما أبارك سنة حالي نوع أما هذا أفرت في هذا سكه أفرت من وعاء أما هذا وعاء أما هذا باهي أما يسي كرامه ويلا قات لا لا تسناين ما بس كيسو بمر مرك لر لا هاي هاك عم يعني مش هاك عم يعني we are seeing more and more people that are coming from Somalia carrying nothing except their children شكل من لا ودنكم ونما إن كويني كرب إيل دنيسي ون إيال كنا أفلي سنا أو يمتان يتحد أو يمتان ما حفرق يا أولي حي يعني ما حد سوق حيسي ما حكي أي من سليت خوش تيجي نجيه لدوته ما يكون أي من سنايني إن إن إلهي كيرو كبرجن بيم لا مسكول ملا بيم قبنا ولا قبنا مجرا ما قبل هذا جوك هذا هو ده قبل هذا جوكنا حانا سكر نوليني بقى ملا حد سكي لهذا لو إذا قاجو هوك لنهاية Hadu kikang awal untuk kerjaan melah. To give me more information of these people that are starving, I want to meet you with someone from MSF. The hospital gives support for the new arrivals. Currently, we are seeing uh, more influx of new arrivals and uh, who come from Somalia who are in devastating situation. These people have no shelter, have no food, have no other livelihood, no protection services which were enjoyed by refugees who have been here uh, many years ago. So we have seen many of them with severe malnutrition who are admitted into our ward. What do you expect to see in the next six to 12 months if the drought continues? If the drought crisis continues in part of Somalia or in East Africa, many people will going to die as it is now. When you are a journalist, you will not get a good sleep because it will come to your mind. Our hour then the other hour, hour then the other. When you go back to home, when I go back to home, I remember the people that I have left some hours back. And there's distance between them and me. I can't reach. So it, it feels like being a journalist is more hurtful than the other work. That is a place that is right. Very dusty. We used it to get rain. But now we are living in a very hot place. So that I know more how the road is affecting even those people who have been here for that years. I'm heading to meet with Pili Pili. أنا يوم جاي وحاول فردوس السرط وحاح وريه كهول قال حريا قحوتي قال لا بس كل شق واحد برتي أنت سو جوجي أنا أنا شقي هذا إذا عدا برجر قيب حكنا قط مركز كبير ليه ذا أنا ربنا إني نجوا الرمان أنا لذا اللي بعتوين كي كلو كل من وحياة بقى إسبدة أختي ذا أدم بيس هذا أنا أنا كجرنا جرنا تي أنا وياه رسول الله بقى كسو قحي مركو علك دعي سومالي بربركي ودعي سعنك ودعي الله أنا حريص هذا يا أبي ماشي كودنت بربركي وادنت كده مركان برباري لأن أجاني رجع وأكتهي وهذا أنا ما رأيتي أن هاي سنين خاص في عن 
قحيتي شرعي آن لهين آن بيحي كريم مال آن قاري كريم آن حريم كبيحي كريم حمالي جي مقالة إنه إسكات كهذا أي أصلا هي حق بيرها قفرت هرم هرولها أنا هو قفرت هرولها يا أبي هو إذا بقى سومالي كل إنتين هو هاي إن آن بيرلي سو هايين سو أرك جا يران تيدي مركا إنت إنت سو سنة لا لا واتو سنة هذا بحن بيرني لكان لكن سد حنا سنة ودم بيسي وكل يكرا عن كل يكرا وحي أي جاي نبا وعي بابين لو كان سوا قل لي أوارا قشي ورب عن لهلي بيس عذنا أي نوع إيمان داده مركا بيرت ساسة كوجوك هذا خلاص لو كان بنا هذا كيس طورن إن رجع هذا أبدو أبارت إنسي سعته أم محار جو كله هتبيرت أنت أبارت كور أنا يوصي دي إيه هذا أباري مركا إيمان هذا هذا نوال كلام محاي مالكلو أعذنا ما قرنا هاي مالكلو أعذنا ما لها The issue of climate change is something that everyone, especially in the region, is grappling with, and uh, it is now a global issue. Specifically in this region, it has engendered forced displacement both in Somalia and also in Kenya. People have been coming into this Dada region, which is also affected, not only by this climate change, but also insecurity. So we have a situation of overpopulation of the camps. And the impact is grave because what is provided in the camp is just not enough. The fact is that they are here and they continue to come. And if we don't get the kind of support that we need, the situation is going to be disastrous. Good morning, everyone. What do you think global warming is? We have to give education to the students so that they Due know more about the road. presence of the greenhouse gases. The main reason that we are facing for this climate change in Africa. It's caused by human activities. Emissions from factories and the developed countries leads to the increase in temperature of the Earth atmosphere. You can see these things affect all of us. Even those people at home and those in Somalia, everyone. We have new refugees in Dadaab. So if they are coming to Kenya, running away from drought, and you can see what you're experiencing here also, the sudden increase in temperature everywhere. So are we safe? That is the question that we need to ask ourselves. Are we safe? We are not safe at all. What do you think the global leaders should do in order to reduce the global warming? What are the solutions? And I want to hear this from you. We can't say it's the dub or any other place that's near is polluting the environment. The countries that have more industries than Africa. In Africa, especially Somalia and Kenya, it's a problem that have come to us. Not a problem that we have created with our hands. The students, their voice can split the message with me. Dear world leaders, Industrial activities pose a choking hazard to sustaining our planet. Carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Increase of refugee in the camp. The option for better future. We are suffering from evacuation. They can be my like my weeks. They can spread the message with me. This radio is the only radio that they have. That they have voice. This is the voice for the refugees. Hello. Oh.
كلنتي وعنا وناك سنة جستيال كسر دوار إذا عاد جرجار وحنا يفردوس رد جل أو ما أنت أوجه اللي نت بدل كعيم الذي يا بارها سامين تأكل يرتب بالشد جيس كأفريكا. بعد كذا بعد كذا أنت أمر بحدة ورئيسية كلن كين ديرات وحنا ماش عنك ما كان عرقت يدوينا. Degaistiyal gud ahan isbadal ka imilada. If I couldn't be a journalist, I couldn't have seen those people suffering. Every politician, every agent, every one can tell you there is nothing there. But when you are a journalist, having your microphone and evidence that these people are stabbing, Tunggu hari ni lagi arka bawa mahu hat mat anjuk no, dat malle, dunia malle, badar malle, wah mat anjuk no, wah nasi mar mah tu doa tan illa bersenang ni jira. Aku sebab hari awal tu hal orang ayat macam tu mah gaji ni tak mana. Wah, aku sebab hari waktu kan aku gaji alam tu dalam ni, orang nak skip jogging ramu. Awal terter, ayat aku sebab ni merkuh raba anta. بدل كان عمل هذا وهالشيء طب أو جرو سامي وين يا شيء سامي وين أي كوي له توه على قد دريمة أفريقيا. We ask you to join Andis with us to fight global warming. We as Africans in the WWG come. We request you as the global leaders to find ways in which to reduce emission. We need entirely new a way of working. We need world leaders to make bold choice. I wish my radio show to be heard in the world, to hear our voices everywhere. I wish the international community to hear and see what we are suffering, the reason why we are calling them, the reason that we are crying. Any person that have a heart that can feel the pain that we have in it. Ila hayob da hayin de hegda da nagu uirsaq Beru hu dalagi hime heli in robku ma abadin Dibu huda chini yo meheli indegi aga aku filan. Duni du iskada aga tirto ho no mageli indariel.